Hey guys, Tommy back with another video. This is Zero Figure Anime and I got something new to show you. So today I did just recently got me a bookshelf back here. I'm going to install some light that way you can see it better. You can see it at the front, but the back part of the bookshelf is kind of deep. So it's kind of hard to see her. Um, so I'm gonna do some of that. I had some old lights, LED lights from Ikea that I'm gonna use on these. That'll be temporary until I can actually get some really good lights to set up. But I wanna go ahead and show you a tutorial of how I do my lights most of the time. So you can get an idea and you can do it yourself as well. It's pretty simple. So I'm gonna go ahead and start that and we can go step by step. All right, so these are gonna be the lights that I usually use. Um, these are two strip lights and you just plug it in like this and you can connect them as one strip light. They are called DI Order. So D-I-O-D-E-R. Um, this is from Ikea. They usually come with four strips. You can either have four light strips set up like this with the device. I usually do these with my Dektoff display. I have one on each shelf. They're the right size for that. So I usually have like that, but now I have a different set of lights on that. For this bookshelf, it's a lot wider. So I would need to connect two like this and then have it set up like that. So that way I can get the full range from the left side to the right side. So I'm gonna do that. I have eight. So two each shell. I'm gonna do the top, the middle, the bottom, and then I'm also doing the one above the book shell. It does come with the controller, so you can change the color on there, or you can do different settings. Um, that's one thing I like about these, that so you can turn them off and on that way. Another thing I have is this right here. This is the channel for the LED lights. So as you can see, it has an angle it's like a 45 degree angle so you can put the LED right in the middle and as you have it laying down on top instead of the light going straight down it angles towards the back of the shelf so it'll give you more of a light uh, so I'm going to do all that on this shelf and have it all set up so I'm going to go through that right now and show you how I do it hey guys voiceover Tommy here I just wanted to talk to y'all while I'm showing you guys some clips of me putting my lights into my bookcase. So right now I'm taking off everything from my shelf. That way I have more room to work with and not have anything break in the process. I got the top part off, the bottom part taken off, and now I'm taking off everything that is on the very top. It was very scary to take off this little piece, but I was able to get it. Now onto the next thing. I am setting up the V-shaped metal piece, which is cut to the right size to fit the shelf. And once it's cut, I use double-sided tape to stick them onto the shelf. They are about 22 inches long, which is about the same size of the shelf. And I just make sure it's all stuck on there. Now I am onto the LED strip light. Like I said before, I have two strip light connected as one, and I use double-sided tape to stick them onto the V-shaped middle piece. I did the top part and now I am onto the middle section which wasn't hard to do since it was just a stick on there and make sure it stayed. And then now I'm doing the bottom section. This one was a little tricky because you must get it in the right angle so it took me a few time to get it right but I think I got it here. I'm just making sure it stayed on there by pushing pressure for a couple of seconds. And now onto the top part of the shelf. Pretty simple, just click it on there. And now I am doing the wiring. I just connect them to the LED. I do have them pre-drilled before I did all of this. I used the drill gun and the right size drill bit to get the wire through. Uh, once I got it through, I just pull it on the back and connect it to the LED lights like this. And then I just pull them back and that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed that little bit and I will get back to regular Tommy. Alright guys, I finished setting up the lights. All I need to do now is just plug them in. I have my device. This is the controller for the light, so you can change the colors. And then you just plug it in to the wall outlet. But yeah, that's pretty much everything for this setup. Um, one thing I want to note, 
is that I use this. This is a double sided tape. This is really meant for like picture frames and stuff, but they're very heavy duty. I get like a little piece and I put them onto the lights. I do that four times on there and then stick it up to the, the shelf. And they stay well on there. I have been using this for a very long time and I haven't had any problem with it. So I really prefer using that over just like regular tape or something. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in and I'm gonna show you the final products. All right, so I got everything set up. So this is what it looked like when the lights are off and I just have my bookcase lights on. So on top I had the J. Scott Campbell and then my bunny girls and then Chio on the middle one. I haven't had anybody over here yet. So the next thing I'm gonna do is buy some doors. I'm gonna get three doors to put on for each shelf. That way it will look like these right here. So it'll be all right here, set up like that. But yeah, it looks really good. I like how everything is set up. I'm gonna keep it like this for a while and we will go from there. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. That is pretty much everything to set up this bookshelf right here. So if you have any questions, comment on the video and we'll go from there. It's just pretty simple. Like I say, all you really need to do is just set up the lights on the shelf and then plug them in the back. There were a little bit of work with the little black uh, channel thing that you put the lights on. So you have to cut it and since it is metal, you have to use a chainsaw or whatever you can to cut that little piece to be the exact length of the bookshelf. That was really the only hard thing to do with this kind of setup. But other than that, it was just pretty simple. Just a uh, double-sided tape on the light to that and then plug it into the, uh, the wall aisle. One thing I do have uh, that I haven't really said anything about is that I have a plug into a smart plug and the smart plug is connected to the Google Home. So whenever I say, hey Google, and I say the command, like say turn off the light, it would turn off the shelf lights, the TV lights, everything in my room, it would turn off uh, depending on how I will want to do it. But yeah, it's pretty cool how I set that up. So that way I don't have to go to each light and turn them off, which I have a bunch of light in this room. So I use those smart plugs and that would help me. I just say one command, like turn off lights and it would turn off everything in my room without me having to do it myself. But yeah, um, that is pretty much it. I just wanted to do something very simple, uh, like a tutorial kind of video to show me how I kind of set up my lights. That's just mainly how I do it with a lot of my shelf up here. Um, the only different ones would be the detail, which I can't really show you since I don't have any more room to put in that detail. Maybe in the future, if I get a bigger room, I can put more detail and I could show you guys how I set up those. But this is pretty much everything I have in my room. Uh, if you have any questions or comments and stuff, you can always comment on the video and I can interact with you guys. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys have a good day and talk to y'all soon. Like, comment, subscribe. Bye.